What's up, fam? Dream Team is back in the house. Okay, I don't know what to say after he just said that. Oh, daughter. Oh. You're excited, Gan Shane, and you're excited for it now. I'm Dream excited. Team. <laughs> we haven't, we haven't no, recorded in a while, and then you you're making me blush, purpose. man. Shh. You're making me blush. So early in the podcast. I man. almost died. At least you ain't I almost hating. I died, and At now you're just treating oh. me like this. Ah, Are we seriously going there? I Come on, man. Come. Are we seriously going there? Come on. Bro. Okay, man. Show some appreciation for your homeboy. Um, we appreciate that you're live. So uh, we can actually do this podcast because um, our guest did not want to do this with just me. Yes, uh, She finds me a little intimidating. Uh, I kind of understand. I kind of understand. Uh, yeah, I understand. I, I do got it going on. Uh, the issue is now... Do you got it going on and intimidating are two different things, though. Like, like separate, dude. Either no, they're not. Going on or you're no, 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 they're not. So, like... Because I got it going on, I intimidate her, okay? Wow. <sighs> Aside from her intellect, but that's besides the point. Uh, okay. cool. I don't even know what week we're on, man. I'm I don't so even confused. know what episode we're on. Um, Exactly. Uh, we're in how, forty. We're in fourteen. I think that's how long we haven't recorded for. No, this is thirteen. This is thirteen. Are you sure this is thirteen? Because I feel like it might. Yeah, be no, it's it's thirteen. Okay. Twelve okay. is the yeah. Valentine's Day one. Whatever episode this. No, nah, I remember. Whatever episode this might be, it's just gonna be epic. That's just the one thing to remember and to just have stick in your mind that it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be dope. Yeah. So many things have been happening. Expropriation of land without compensation. The EFF has been preaching about the ANC. Has been talking about it. We have a new president in South Africa. Wow. Sarah Ramaphosa, new deputy president, new cabinet uh, reshuffle. Everything is just happening. Black such, Panther movie came out. It's such it's a crazy. pretty. Dude. I'm not everything interested in anything crazy. that you've mentioned. South Africa is just lit. Right but now. I'm just excited about people. Yes. No, that's the name of the guest that we we got <laughs> on the show. <laughs> in English, translated in yeah. English. Yes. That's First of all, uh, her her name is Bantu. Uh, she she has a heart for people. She's a very um, yeah, bubbly person, man. Like um, she has one of the coolest personalities out here. That is uh, actually very true. <coughs> no jokes. Like, if you'd meet her, you'd probably think she's on something. But no, it's just the Holy Ghost, you know. She's just crazy about her Jesus. And yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Um, she She's an amazing human being, man. Um, I don't want to talk about her. I think she should give her own introduction, okay? Because I feel like... She'll do a better job at doing that because we are very terrible at this, okay? No, don't speak for me. Speak, you are the one doing the introduction. <laughs> no, so we... Don't speak for me. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. You do no, the no, introduction. No, no, no. You've already queued for her. You can't do that. You can't queue for her and then queue back to me. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's his way of agreeing like with what I was saying. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. Hard for people. <laughs> Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? I'm I'm in stitches, but okay. <laughs> because yeah, you two oh, together. Man. I just that is why. Can we go back to what um, Randy was saying about yeah. intimidate him? Are we seriously I mean, gonna that go he there? Intimidates me. Can yeah. we just correct that? Please, please, I feel because like it needs to be corrected. Yes. yes, I'm just saying. Like, why would I have half of y'all when I can have both of y'all? True. Okay. Pause. Uh, <laughs> well, time out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm enough for gay. Sorry? I'm enough. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hey. I'm the whole meal and the dessert, okay? We don't need steel. What okay. is happening right now? This podcast I don't even understand. is strictly me, okay? Steel is... um. Whoa. Yeah, steel is just steel. This okay. Is, this is okay. 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 Uh, Bandu, how are you doing? Please let the listeners know your name and surname. I, of course, know it. I would say it, but, you know, 
one you don't have to say your surname. No, I'd love to say my surname. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to say my name, my full names. Yeah. Okay, my name is Ubantu Sandisiwe Pungane. Sorry. Can you imagine Sorry. why you... Injured, why you Sorry. Can you... Sorry. Like, who does that? Sandisiwe, like, I would have never imagined. Really? Yeah. A lot of people, I get that a lot. Bantu suits you because you are for the people. Like, oh. you you have that personality. Sandisiwe. Sandisiwe mm. means... Um, we have expanded. We oh, have... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there was... I'm the firstborn. That's what it means. Sandisiwe. Yeah. I thought, well, I thought I mean, Ayanda they, was... Uh, we've, yeah, we've been expanded. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, something along those lines. We've been expanded. I you have a, you listen here. Thanks, Randy. Gamma. Okay. Oh, which means June. the same thing. You see. Nebo. Yeah, but girl. We're on that vibe. So, um, the reason why I use all What does names, your name mean? No, no, no. Please, just continue <laughs> with Bandu right now. I'll tell yeah. you later my name. The reason why I use all, both my names yeah. and my surname because I used to be so ashamed of who I am. Yeah. I used to get teased a lot about having a boy's name, Ubantu. I used to get teased. Ugh. So That's I used to cool. only give Usan Siwe. But now I love both names. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, whenever I introduce myself for anything or to anybody, okay, well, not, I mean, when I represent, yeah. of course, I'll give my full names. So, yeah, that's me in a uh, nutshell. You've never done that before. Why no. today? Um, ah. But it's interesting because then what she has been doing is she has been using Mantu more than Sunday Siwe. Yeah. In, either, yes. in, in either case, which kind of then proves her point even more. No, it in doesn't. a way. Because she just said she introduces herself in the full name. No, okay. I understand. I've never said, done that. Yeah, before. but I said. I understand that, but yes. When I'm meeting, like, um, when I'm in a formal setup. Yeah. If, I, if that I, I makes sense. I actually get what you say, yeah. Thank you, still. Yeah. I actually get what you're saying. People who <laughs> are... Because, I mean, it would be kind of weird you going around, like, almost everyone. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but <laughs> when would I finish? <laughs> when would I finish? That is funny. It's though. just... Uh, exactly. No one did, you, I, I don't, don't think, though. do that. Uh, I don't... First of all, I never tell people my name. <laughs> okay. Why? Huh? Why? Because, um, first so, of all, so I you, never introduce myself so to people. So you always use your pseudonym? What? You always use your pseudonym? What did he say? I said you always use your pseudonym. He's trying to be bougie, but I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you see why I wanted both of y'all? <laughs> oh, man. I'm saying so you... Uh, it's not rolling off the top. <laughs> so you always use your pseudonym. Pseudonym. Is that, is that what you said? Pseudonym. Pseudonym, yeah. S pseudonym or Sweden. You mean what? my alias? Pseudonym. Your alias, yes. Your nickname. Uh, no. People give me names, man. Like I don't introduce myself to people. So then, so then. Like, can we please address the situation? Because I don't like people. Okay. You? Yeah. yeah you Which have, is co you quite a that. contradiction to, to bunch over there. Yeah. But also I honestly people. don't like people. No, we need to talk about this, Randy. No, we don't. We do. What did people? What did people ever do to you? Yeah, the list is so long. <laughs> uh, the issue is like I love people. Like I love people, but um, no. But but cancel out what you just said. No, 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 no. Okay. Love and like is two different things. Love is uh, like, hey, how you doing? No, no, no. Like is wanting you in my space. <laughs> okay. Mm. Two different things. Okay, it's fine. I'll give it to you for now. Love is accepting. You're alive. Uh, you exist. Okay, I acknowledge your presence. But further than that, that's like. Okay. Okay. Do I want to conversate with you? Do I want to chill with you? That's like. Yeah. So then who do you chill with? Not still. You? <laughs> yeah, I don't touch me. Don't touch me. Why are you touching me? Don't catch me, Lee. Don't, don't catch me, Lee. Don't touch me. Nah, I'm kidding, man. Yeah, I'm kidding. Uh, Shame. If I didn't like him, I, I, I no, wouldn't I'll, be doing I'll, this podcast I'll, I'll with him. I'll organize friends, like genuine good people in your life for you. No, man. Um, no. Oh, we'll pray I to find, I find human beings very boring. I know. You know. No, some, some are not, but majority are. You need to meet new human beings, really. I do, preferably from another planet, because this planet here is it's chaotic, man. Sure. 
Okay. So, uh, as you can obviously tell, Randy has a couple of issues, man, dude. <laughs> so, um... Did he just play the issues card with me? Yeah. So, so you're gonna... First of all, you're not gonna defend me? No. Why should she? Look! When I said he clearly has problems, you defended him. Do not be biased. Okay? She never defended me. Why she are we did. picking sides now? now? When we're talking about the phone issue, she defended you when I said you have problems. You're not going to defend me? Wow. Wow, wow, Why wow, Why are we being wow, so touchy-feely? Wow. Dude, I almost First died. All, and this is... Oh, there it goes. Is like, You're going to throw that wow. in there every time wow, now that you nearly man. died. Come on, man. Look, I, I don't know what death feels like, right? But, <laughs> I, but I would imagine it probably feels close to what I felt the, the other day. Anyway, so... Um, I'm not gonna like mention obviously on the podcast now what happened. Okay, please don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. But he I was vomiting all the over oh. the. <laughs> I was vomiting all over the 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 mall and stuff, bro. Like it was bad. It was it was hectic, man. Like seriously. And I haven't vomited in a long time. Like I think the last time I vomited was like in high school or something. Not even high school, primary. So that was okay. hectic. Can we just apologize to the listeners? Please. You know, oh, I apologize. Because you just painted that head. image now. I just, I just apologize right now. The views expressed on this podcast are not of Blue Princessions, but those that were just mentioned by me were just strictly and coming from me. Just by okay. Me. Okay. But Onto we say thank you, Jesus, for your health, that you're alive. That is definitely true, 100%. On to healthy things. Let's, let's talk about Bantu and your background. And yes. All. Okay, what do you want to know? Uh, are you from East London? Born in Pretoria. Um, what? I actually like yeah, Pretoria. Yeah, I was born in Pretoria. Did not know. My that. parents were still in varsity. They were finishing off. Yeah, and then we moved back to East London. Your parents were in varsity? Yes, what do we mean? No. And no. then... And weird. <laughs> and then um, I've been in East London from the age, I think, three or four. Yeah. So I'm from East London. Okay. So your parents are from East London? They're from East London, yes. But they were studying? Okay. They were studying in mm. Pretoria. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice, man. And uh, do you ever go to Pretoria to see? <laughs> um, I don't really like Pretoria. What? I've First of all, I don't I've like how dang actually. I've been, man. I've You've been. never been to Pretoria? No, I've never been. Have you been to Joburg, though? I've been to Joburg. I've stayed in Joburg. Pretoria is better than Joburg. How come you stayed in Joburg, but you've never ever been to Pretoria? I've just never been. Pretoria well, is way I, better I, I, than Joburg. I, I, I didn't stay. I didn't stay in Joburg for like years or anything like that. I just stayed. It was, I think, um, February until late August. Oh, I, it wasn't long yeah, then. You see, the situation with Pretoria and Joburg is. Joburg is like Tanzan. Then um, uh, Pretoria. Pretoria is like oh. East London. No, no, no. He's, he's showing you the distance. It's no, a distance. I, was he talking about the distance? Yes. Well, I'm also talking about the lifestyle. No. <laughs> that's what I heard. No. <laughs> that's what I heard. No. That's what I heard. No. Both. No. And exactly. Joburg's rough, man. But Pretoria is beautiful, okay? I went there and I enjoyed myself. I had some of the best times in my life, okay? That's my phone. I don't in know why Joburg. it's not on silent. Um, if you guys did hear it. You know that I don't like Joburg. I also don't. Thank I'm God someone else doesn't like it. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Joburg. Like, I'm, I, think, I, I think with Joburg, for me, I'd, I'd go there for work purposes. Only. But like, yeah. Only. But uh, stay um, there three years, four yeah, years nah. maximum. Whoa, no. no. I'm no. talking about, like, uh, to do something and leave. Yeah. Not... To actually no, no, stay. No, but, yes, that's what I'm talking about. But they say that to build your career in any industry, Joburg is the best place. Yes, uh, that's the, I that's disagree with statements like that because that means we're not investing in our own homes. But that's an, the unfortunate part, though. Like Which we need to correct. But how are we going to do that when there's no resources? In we our, create in resources. Our home, with what funding? There are many fundings. There's um there's one APEC, 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 APEC. Um they they used to fund us for going to Gramstown Festival. That's going to now say if I want to okay, so <clears throat> bit of my background is yeah. I got a Bachelor of Arts uh 
degree majoring in drama and sociology. Okay. Come on. Speak so it. now if I want to uh, do a a play and literally I've been thinking about doing a play uh, but I don't have the resources. What's this place called? In ah. near Selborne. The Guild Theatre. Guild Theatre. You what can do it there. Yeah, but it takes more than a venue. I need marketing. I need actors. True. Actors need to get paid. I True. need people who's going to write the script. I need people Actually, who... actors don't need to get wardrobe. paid. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. I need... Makeup. All of that. You know what you I'm saying? You can give that in this London. Yes, but they're going to want to be paid. Yes. It's money. Not catering. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Catering, guys. because you do know in, 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 in the industry that... That's why you get sponsors. Be. That's why you get sponsors. But where are those sponsors? Show us these sponsors. Uh, APEC. I know one. Uh, there's the government. Okay, they yeah, always but art and culture. So many. You. Let's not go there. With art and culture. Wait, do you know something we don't? I didn't want to go there, but of art and culture. I didn't have a list, so I just threw out anything I knew. Look. Because mm-hmm. I've always felt like the, the Department of Arts and Culture is the one department supposed to be taken care of. Yeah, they don't do it's their job. It's supposed to. That's exactly what you meant. So they're not? No. The only thing they fund is, um, what's this thing? Durban July? No. Not even that. First Ramstown of all, that's Durban. In fact, they don't this even do the Ramstown Fest. They don't Grams do Ramstown Fest has got like Standard Bank or something. We, like we, we, we're talking East London now. The only thing they do in East London is what? The carnival. We really can. Oh, the the carnival. Carnival and, uh, yeah, it's only the carnival. Where you they see actually what I'm let saying? local talent, these, um, come up up and coming artists do anything at an event of which there was a whole I I did not know about this yeah it's sad man it's sad yeah because you're busy with Wakanda but we're not (laughs) you know what speaking about Wakanda uh Bantu you are still telling us about your (laughs) educational history (laughs) (laughs) why the else did you study I can't be laughing too much because I'm still paying uh, you better not let anything out aside from words oh, of out of your mouth again. Uh, it's not like that no more. <laughs> oh, wow, guys. Okay, what was that? Uh, you uh, you should mention your educational history. Look, I'm done. It's a for now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but we are... I was looking for a conversation away from Wakanda here. Yeah. Shame. We can talk about anything else, but uh, Wakanda, definitely I'm for it. Because, yeah. yeah. So, so, Wendy, please just maybe like let us know um, what it is that you obviously now you, you've got a degree in a bachelor, a bachelor in, in arts, majoring in drama, right? So, do you perhaps care to let us know a little, a little bit more about um, what job opportunities are in that? Or perhaps somebody who might be listening that is interested in doing the very same thing, what job opportunities are in that and how to go about pursuing them? That's actually a great question. So there's quite a lot yeah. that one can do with the Bachelor of Arts degree. Mm. Uh, I mean, <laughs> majoring in dramatic arts. Wow, yeah. listen to me. Um, you can be a performer. Okay. One. What type of performer? Um, be an actor. Okay. But there's two different types of actors. You can be an onstage theater actor yeah. or a television actor. Okay. Um, uh, we at where I studied at Rhodes University, we did theatre work more than television okay. work. So don't ask me anything about television because I don't know okay. yet. So you can only do one. You can do both, but the, most people start off in theatre and then go to television. Television because theatre is so much more harder. There's no one that's going to say cut. Let's uh, do it again, or okay. you know. And that's the joys of about theatre. Theatre. You got to live in the moment. Okay. You get what I'm saying. So there's that. You can be behind the scenes, and that's what I love. Um, you can be producer. You can be the director. You can be um, the designer. You can be. There's so much that you can go into. Another thing that I did with my dramatic arts degree was yeah. applied theatre. Applied theatre is doing uh, community-based work. Okay. So going into a community and. Um, studying the behavioral patterns using theater if that's like good Jesus, enough English. how do you do that so for instance like take okay so this is what we do we'd go to um the juveniles okay 
and try and 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 have sessions with them like on a weekly basis and just see where they are because i mean imagine now still you a young boy in in juvenile you've done something so bad yeah. and you and you don't want to come out your shell you don't want to express all the hurt and the yeah. anger that you have yeah. and the only way um to come out is using theater or using like oh, this world, yeah. this fantasy world. Like yeah, yeah. so, you you use theater and 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 all these games that we used to play to make people come out and and express what they're feeling without oh, okay. using any words. So that is what I love about dramatic arts. Okay. So, so yeah. That, that's dope. Okay. Well, do you want to say something? No, no, no. Carry okay. On. Tell oh. me the difference between producing and 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 directing. What's the difference between a producer and a director? Because honestly speaking. I watch these movies, I'm thinking to myself, and I, I, I go through this whole thing, you know what I mean? Especially now, I'm starting to ask myself more and more of these questions because Black Panther just blew up, and it's just amazing. But I'm, I'm not speaking about Black Panther, just relax, LZ. Okay? I feel but, like I but, didn't but, say anything. But Ryan Coogler, who was, I think they said, the director or producer of the movie. So I don't know, what's the difference between a director and a producer? Like, I'd really like to know. So the producer is the person that comes up with the idea that I want to do this play okay okay i won't necessarily direct it i'm gonna hire still to to direct the whole thing i i basically am the one who fund it who put it together um find the actors find this basically you the supervisor or manager ceo type of role okay and then the director just steps in when we put everything on stage producers basically behind the scenes trying to run around getting funding getting um, the uh, the project of the ground. Okay. They do all the groundwork. Director only steps in when we need to start acting on the stage or in the movie or on the TV show. Okay. So that, but they crucial roles. But the one that you can you need more producer, because if you don't have a producer, then so can, you screwed. So 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 tell me something. Can can a play go forward? Or can a movie go forward without a director but a producer? No. No. So you need a, a, a director. Yes. The director is the most important yes. person. Okay. So that's why at first I, I was like, sh should I even say that you, the most important? Because you need both. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Um, because they work, work hand in hand. Yeah. But the person who has the final say on the stage or on the movie or on the what, um, TV is the director. Like like they di they direct basically the actors you no know, do this scene like this or do that yeah. scene like that and okay. be like um, be more sad that's a director producer stands back and lets a director direct okay like can can, can a producer override a director at times they can they can but you don't want to do that okay because then that's gonna cause a lot of confusion okay yeah. because at the end of the day as a producer I've entrusted the director to do their job okay yeah. It's okay. like with the whole Monique situation. Um, I forgot which movie, the Christmas movie she did. Yeah. Um, the producer was telling everybody what to do. Basically, he was playing director. And uh, there was a whole argument there because now people didn't know who to listen to. Like, But the director told us this and the producer's telling us this. Mm. And then there was the whole confusion. Then there was a huge argument about it. And that's when like she got into an, an argument with the producer because she's like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. you are a producer do what you're supposed to do he's the director respect that man yes. let him do what he's here to do exactly like in any movie you watch still you'll always hear two criticisms whether it's good or bad but whoever gets the credit and whoever gets the criticism is always the director Never the producer. The producer is for the cost. <laughs> they give props to the to the producer. Oh, thank you, blah, 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 for all this. But then in terms of the excellence of what you see is the director. Okay. And n now this is my next question now. Can 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 a producer also be a director? Like can 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 I say, okay, I wanna produce this movie, but I also want to direct it? Yes. Oh, okay. But then you're gonna die. Your music videos. But then you're gonna die. What What do you mean? Because it's gonna be too much work to handle. Is it? Yes, because you've got to 
do all the running around, getting the funding, getting the whatever, 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 and you still want to go direct. It's so possible, it's but I mean, let's share resources, eh? Let's share the workload. Okay. okay Dream. I feel you. It's not a wise decision, basically. Okay. It's like you can drive with your feet, but it doesn't mean you should do it. Okay. Okay, I see. I get it. Anyway, okay, Bandu. All right, cool. So, so there's there's that aspect of of who you are and what you do, mm-hmm. and then there's the aspect of you know, radio that you do, television presenting that you do. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, so brothers, yeah, I mean, you know, what I mean, like uh, social social media, Resume. YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, Facebook Live, like all these Facebook things. Facebook Live. Well, I mean, these are these are things that you do. Instagram Live. Um, <laughs> Are you sure you want to throw that into a resume, man? Like, you were going well until you went there. Like. Instagram. But like, these are things that you're venturing into and are dabbling into and doing. Yes. Okay? yes. Stepping up my comfort zone, man. Yes. So um, you also MC. You know, you also you also MC at certain gigs. You're a voiceover artist. And how did you go about from, you know, bachelor in arts degree, uh, uh, sp- uh, what what dramatic what's a, arts? A dramatic arts, and um, all the way into radio. And does does the degree cover all of these other aspects like radio, voiceover or artists, or is it something that you found? And if it's something you found, how did you find it? So radio happened by surprise. Okay, it was never the plan. All right. I don't. I never knew why I studied drama. Um, the plan was I was going to do PR. I love PR. I love public relations. And all my life, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do public relations. And <laughs> then came grade 11. What am I going to do? And then, like, I just went blank. Yeah. And my dad was like, well, you do so well in drama. Go for it. And I was like, okay, cool. I did drama. And then a couple of years later, um, a friend of mine says to me, you don't mind if you've got a radio voice. I'm like, I've got a radio voice. What are you talking about? You do. And then, thank you, thank you, Randy. And then... Um, and then, like, a day or two later, my cousin was like, doesn't know my friend. I never told anybody this thing. The, my cousin goes, you know that you've got a radio voice? I'm like, I've got a radio voice. And I was like, okay, father. Um, I was like, Lord, if this is you, yeah, make it happen. Yeah. I bump into the station manager at my previous work. And I was like, this voice sounds so familiar. But still then... I didn't approach him and, and say, listen, I want to be on radio. Yeah. Um, what had happened was I, I, I sort of um, entered a competition okay. um, on Link, and then I won. Um, so, yeah, that's when how it all happened. A competition? Yeah, let's not go there right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was a one-off thing, but look at oh. God. And so... Um, was it like a presenter's competition or what? Yeah, they were looking for a co-host. Oh, okay, dope. And so I sent in, and mind you, it was when WhatsApp was still new and you could send a voice note. And I sent a voice note. That's how I entered the competition. Wow. a voice note. But yeah. And uh, this one time, uh, Daddy T and I, our station manager, we were laughing. We were sitting in the office chatting. I'm sorry. And he was going through. Can I please? <laughs> Why do you guys call him Daddy T? Ah, please, just please, <laughs> please carry on with the story. Because we don't want to call him Ditch. Oh, my God. Goodness. And um, he was going through old presenters' CVs and demos. And then he goes, I don't, I don't remember ever s- listening to your demo. And I was like, because I've never submitted one. Mm. He just laughed and he's like, yo, when you've got favor from God. Because yeah. I don't know how else you join this station. Jesus. But uh, yeah, look at God. Hashtag. Um, so pre- drama did really help because... I'm able to interact with the audience yeah. when I do my MC work. I'm able to stand in front of an audience. I'm able to project my voice. Yeah. I'm able to breathe while speaking, but like not make it look like, what's, is she like dying or whatever? Okay, yeah. um, it takes a lot of technique, which you learn yeah. with drama. So that degree did help me i didn't know at that stage in my life that god was actually preparing me for where i'm going okay and uh vo- being a voiceover artist how, how did you get into that how did that happen because i know people can be in radio but not be voiceover artists so how did how did that come about look um 
uh, that was f- from my co-host, uh, Gary Gerber. He's got a voiceover studio. And he's always he's always, always used to say, I'm needing a voice like this. Your voice is perfect. Come through to my studio, we record. And that's that. That's literally oh, how it happened. nice. Yeah. Jeepers. That effortlessly. Some of, us are, some of us have been trying to. <laughs> some of us have been trying to. Some of us have been You would here. really ask that question. <laughs> I was, like I wasn't, some people can yeah, be I wasn't on radio for a and, 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 and not do voice of voice of this. I knew it was a setup for some. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, literally, guys, like literally, whenever I look at my life, I'm like, Lord, you are amazing. Yeah, you Because really literally, is. the First doors of all, that have from opened. your father. I gotta give props to your father, right? Because yeah, yeah, black yeah, parents They're telling you to yeah, pursue yeah, your yeah. dreams, that <laughs> yo, that Open is huge. Tune. That's why he's my hero. He could have said, "Ah, be a lawyer, be a doctor, whatever," but yeah. he saw the potential in Open his own tune. child and p- helped to pursue. It. Like, I gotta give props to your and, father. And and we get that a lot, actually. My brothers. So there's two, my younger brothers. They're twins. Um, my dad's a doctor, and so people were like expecting us to become doctors. We were like, "Nope, <laughs> it's not happening." Yeah, yeah. So my parents were literally like, "Do what you want to do, because you yeah. don't want to be stuck in a job yeah. that you where hate. you're not gonna love." You know. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's, that's props dope. to them definitely. Tell me what goes into public relations. What happens in public? What's go, what, what, what's that all about? So pub- PR is basically uh, making the brand accessible to people. So. Um, interacting with people, like advertising, marketing, all that stuff. Okay. All stuff. So creating events as well. I love that as well. Okay. Um, so basically making the brand, any brand, accessible to the public and known to the public. Okay, snap. And and do you feel like maybe you're dabbling into that here and there now? I am. Okay. I am because I'm, I'm my own PR. Okay. Because I have to advertise myself. And of course, like some team members that I have, I've got great friends yes and um yeah and of course other things that i like other projects that i'm working on yeah i also have to do pr for those companies or whatever you know so i do i do but i just need now the degree which i'm <sighs> sadly pursuing that degree look at god okay you're pursuing online. it yes dope so online unisa oh dope so That's dope. trying to juggle work and all your different project and studying really and cool. going to church and being a daughter and being a friend. It's a lot. But by the grace of God. Doable. I love Possible. how women always place even like relationships into their career. Y'all y'all guys are We ha- you know you know what? Can I just jump in there, Randy? You know, I learned that you have to make time. You have to make time for the people that you love because Few years ago, I used to work at this other company, and like I never saw people, and all my sure. friends used to complain, and I, and I literally died. Okay, I nearly died, physically, emotionally, because I never interacted with people. Yeah. So from that lesson, I learned no man. What is key is that cre- have relationship, yeah. make time for yeah. interaction with people. Yeah, true. So by all means, when a friend is like, "Bando, I need you," I drop everything and I attend to my friend. Yeah. Or whatever. Even when I'm on a coffee date with a friend, I put my phone off. One of my friends taught me that. He was like, he's like, right now, this is a very important client, but I'm with you, my friend. I'm going to, I need to. And I was like, yo, ever since the day, I felt so bad. I was like, I'm always on my phone talking to people and I'm, le- I'm listening to you, my friend, but I, I need to reply to this. So it's very crucial being there for someone. Yeah. You be there wholeheartedly. Yeah. And yeah, be there. Be present. Mm. And that's what I'm also learning as well. Yeah, That's good, man, because um, things like that um, are very useful. You practice it with your family, with your friends, so that when you have a husband or wife, whatever, and have children, you're actually able to do that. Because that is very difficult. Because you remember when um, Dr. Tumi was here, and he yeah. was explaining his life because he's always on tour and whatnot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yo, man, like, the way he explained it, <laughs> I was so scared of being in music because uh, my biggest fear is... Being away from your family. Yeah, 
It's a big fear of mine. Travel with your family. That's what it's about to say. It sounds easy. It does. It sounds easy, but it's not that easy. Look, look, for me. I can understand it. So now, the joys of having... A wife, for instance, Horani, let's put it into your context. So you're going to have a wife, Hallelujah. Right? So now your wife is going to submit to your vision. Your yes. vision is that you want to be a musical artist. Yeah. Get it. Mm-hmm. Now, why not? And and I, you know what? I've met a couple of couples. Wow, English. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who work together. And I didn't understand why. Yeah. Until it hit me, they're trying to save uh, their, relation, their marriage. Because now the husband's always traveling yeah. Yeah. Um, with all his gigs and all that stuff. Yeah. So what's the best thing? Let me work with him yeah. and travel with him. Mm. To bridge that gap. You know, I was like, I was first, it boggled me. I'm like, but don't you get bored of each other? Because I get bored very easily, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, sister. Uh, wow. I'm with you there. Okay. Your life. But it's okay. Um, <laughs> Did she just good, hanging? She left you hanging. And I'm so happy. Like, I can't oh. tell you. Like wow. inside me, man. Like I'm just, I'm bubbling wow. up, really. No, the right, way it's she. Just wow. a, no, it's just. A thing I'm like, hurt. I'm so like if you're love. listening to I'm this, hurt. just understand that it's Randy such a pity we LZ not, has we been not. left hanging with these high so, so, vibes. I just said I want to get air. my point across, guys. Yes, have, true. See now true, my please, point please, is please, gone. Oh no! Please finish, please. No, please finish. Is it gone so, for real? <laughs> it's for real. So, but um, so I didn't understand. Oh, okay, okay, because he gets bored. And then, and then you see now it's gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, but like that was epic though. Thank you, you know, thank you for that. You carry on. It's gone. So basically, yeah. So with that, your wife. They're working together, the couple. Yes. Because you get bored Just, easily. Because you get bored easily. Okay. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. So don't be afraid. You could travel with your wife. Yeah. Pursue, pursue what God has called you to do. See, since we were putting it in my context, understand something. I get bored easily too. I don't want to be around my wife all the time. I but no, whoa, 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 whoa! Before you judge me. Okay. No, no, no. But I'm just saying that when you meet her, mm. you're gonna be so in love. You're just gonna be consumed by her. I'm just saying. That's what I want. <laughs> but let's not. So you won't get bored easily. I promise you. Amen. So, dear the future Mrs. Randy, fun, he fun. can't wait to meet you. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> Say something. <laughs> Say so. Guys, I really can't be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, but um, but I, I also wanted to find out, um, yes. in regards to emceeing, how do you go about getting those gigs? Like, how do you get gigs where you MC at events and stuff like that? How 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 has that come about? Just God, really, because um. Like I, I will be emceeing at church, and then someone will be like, after the event, I'm having a, something of an event coming up. One know somebody's doing something. Um, would you be available to do the MC? So that's where it all started. Started um, at church. Okay. Uh, yeah, emceeing at church, and maybe getting asked by the station to do an M- MC. Um, I don't know, if it, like an outside broadcast you might have. Okay. Or yep. outreach, yes, not outside book, but outreach. Okay. We had, and, and others. And do, and do you charge for 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 MC? Hmm. You put me on the spot. No, I don't. Because I'm still trying to get my name out, out there. there. Okay. So who? Am, uh, but have you been offered money though? Um. I can't remember if I. No, I haven't. I've been offered money to do a a, a, a show. MCing no, no, not emceeing, like uh, rapping, um, at a at a at a show, That's and dope. I turned it down. I what? Like, Why? I just I just of, didn't feel I just I just didn't think I was venue. ready for for that yet. I was just still st- in my mind. I was still thinking, no, it's cool. I just want to do it because you know what I mean. I just want to number up. one help out the event and mm-hmm. help the guy because I I I knew his budget was. Oh, tight. you did perform. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, no, I, well, I, I thought you didn't. No, I did. No, oh, I did. Now nah, that's fine. No, no, I, I did. But uh, and all I had to do was just two songs, man. I was getting yeah. paid like, uh, you know, something there for me like that. The amount of money, like a thousand bucks for me, I was like, that's a lot of money for two songs. dude, exactly. You know I mean? No, it's not <laughs> for two songs. Two Randy. songs. LZ. When he's first of all. People up. charge like fifty grand yeah, for an I, I get, hour. I get that, but, but that's like, but, but that's but like they, this is a well-known artist. Yeah, we're talking. We're that talk, has nothing. We're talking to do with nothing. not known whatsoever. 
You know what Every I mean? artist to is anybody an artist. here. You know what I mean? So yeah, that is. But like, I, I, I can understand that mentality of like, no, nah, I still want to still mm. want to get out there, perfect my craft, yeah. and then once that, I, once I feel like I've established that, mm. then yeah, I can feel like I can. But the problem, don't you feel like people maybe sometimes when Exploit. the moment you put yeah, the moment you put a a, a, a price tag and say look a thousand bucks, then, then they people they are gonna off. start and like ah, I know uh, it's yeah, cool, it's cool, but look elsewhere. But yeah. that is where knowing your worth comes in. And that is what I'm also learning. Mm. If I say my fee is a thousand brand, yeah. let's put it, okay. And the person says, you? Go get someone else who's going to, because I know I'm going to bring my A game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I yeah, believe true. my end game is worth this much. True, true. Much respect. True. Oh, that is powerful, actually. I respect both of you, actually. I respect you that is for the man you are for saying, no, nah, you don't have to pay me. Yeah, yeah, for real. Because a lot of people are like, thousand, fam, <laughs> I'll do the two songs for a thousand. Yeah. But for you to say that, like, yeah, major respect. But then I also respect Bond because um, a lot of people like, they're like, uh, how how much you offering and type of a, yeah. like, people take advantage because they yeah, test you. True, true, true. They test you. Not true, they're true, like, true. Yo, thousand, right. they testing you. True. To see how desperate you are. Mm-hmm. So you, you when you, once you throw your feet, there, you gotta stand on it. True, true. Sure. On on uh, on that. But please tell us about. Uh, I know LZ like hates it when I ask questions like this. I don't know why. I do. But but at times it feels like but, an interview. But, but there's this one time, right? He thanked me for it. like. Oh, but it's good that you ask questions like this because. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> oh, I'll remind you. I'll remind you after the podcast. Okay, let me actually say it now. Uh, when we did the recording with Bandu. And it, it d- didn't work out because of the technical glitch on your side of the mic, right? Yeah. So you had to like wow. either you erase. Had to throw that in yeah. There. yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to throw that in so, there. Your side so, of the mic. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yep, yep. And then you're like, oh, but it's good that you also ask questions like this because at least then I can like take myself out. And yeah, that's what you said. You see, that's invalid because uh, <laughs> the reason why I thanked you is because wow. because my mic was the issue. Yes. Majority of the podcast was still there because you were speaking most of the time. Yeah. That's why I thanked you. But because I, I thought you were still going to use no, the audio. Oh, you thanked me because of how I was asking the questions also. Nah, fam. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. I wish I could record. You, know you what? heard what LZ you were to hear. No, you were so happy. No. LZ said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. no, bro. No, anyway, um, Wandu, please tell us about like... Um, Obviously, a, a little bit about, you know, a heart for people. You know, what what is a heart for people all about? Okay, wow. So, um, so I, I, I love people. Yeah. Um, Bandu? It warms my, they, like, yo, guys, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I just have this unconditional love towards people. I just, yeah. I wish I could go around the world just hugging everybody and just pour out the love of God. Yeah. Mm you know, th- into their heart, you know. Um, so a heart for people came this one day. I was sitting in Bible school, and we were talking, we were discussing Jesus Christ in class, and our wow. lecturer was saying, um, she was saying, Jesus had a heart for people, or something along those lines. And that took by me, because I was like, oh, and she was talking about how much he loved people, um, this, this, that, that, and she always cared about people, and then she was like, yeah, and Jesus had a heart for people, and I was like, that's it, yeah. that's what, that's what I identify with, because I love people, yeah. um, I really wish I could move mountains for people sometimes, mm. and then I carry their burdens, I do, you know, all yeah. this stuff, yeah. and I was like, that's where a heart for people came from, and yeah, ever since then, I mean, also goes with my name, Bantu. Okay. So. So so is it an organization? Is it an establishment? It's is it a not. Trust? Is it a uh, no a business? Maybe in your professor, guys, but yeah. it's nothing yet. Okay. For now, it's just my handle on Instagram. Um, a brand. It's a yeah, it's a brand. It's okay. a brand, and yeah. You should do like a. a f- Start like a foundation type of situation. Would you no, give hold, me the hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because I'm wanting to ask the question, like, um, so what? What's your purpose with a heart for people? What? What? What is your intention behind? 
you know, starting or, or having a brand such as A Heart for People? What, what are you purposing to do? Um, wow, guys, put me on the spot, why don't got you? To, got to. That's why we're here. Got to. <laughs> got to. The questions weren't like this the last time. Maybe we're not there got right to. now. Got to uh, take it higher. Okay. <laughs> Turn it up a little Turn bit. Turn it up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, the purpose for Heart for People, I just want them to know Jesus, mm. to see Jesus, mm. to know that there is love in the world, um, to know that there are people that care. Mm. Um, and, and if you go into my social media, that is what I, I speak about the most, Jesus, 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 yeah. and love towards another. Um, I, I don't even know what else to say. That That's my purpose. I, I've never ever th- sat down and be like, so where is the heart for people? No, I've never. Mm. And that's probably something that God's going to like still speak to me and birth within me because I'm reading this really good book by Cindy Trim. Man, you have to read this oh, she's book. She's amazing. It's called Push. Um, Pray until something happens? Persevere oh. until su- success happens through prayer. Oh, okay. But basically, it explains the whole Close process... Enough. Close enough. Um, of of giving birth. <laughs> and funny enough, ever since I started reading this book, I've been really dreaming about people re- like like people giving birth and having babies or having kids. Yeah. Randy oh. was one of them. I didn't tell him this. I'm putting huh? him on the spot. I dreamed uh, <laughs> Randy had a kid. <laughs> oh. yeah. Did I have a wife? I didn't see the wife. I just whoa. saw you. <laughs> whoa. No, but you know what? I, I went and I asked um, my like my spiritual mom, Mm. about this like why am I dreaming all this stuff like, what, what and she's like it symbolizes that they either gonna birth something or they've birthed something like something along those lines like they yeah. Yeah, it's preparation oh. um, they're about to birth nice something one. or they've birthed something did you dream, I don't see did that. You dream me one day <laughs> not yet, yet still okay. maybe coming. it's coming it's coming, it's it's coming. coming. <laughs> it's coming. Okay. You, however you, though you were busy vomiting in, in malls maybe you gotta tell <laughs> you us know what, you know what I'm saying somebody actually commented <laughs> somebody commented on my status because I put that thing up on Facebook I said yo you sorry you really put that up on I, Facebook I said, I, yeah. he did it was, an, it was an apology slash thank you note to Vincent Parkmore for Mm-hmm. allowing me, you know, to vomit in their bin. And also saying thank you and sorry at the same time. I mean, for uh, vomiting in their bin. First However, all, okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. However, somebody commented, or two people, actually, like, commented on my status, and like, one, one person said, uh, morning sickness? <laughs> Question mark. And I said, are you pregnant? So I'm like, you know, I receive. I'm like, dude, I receive it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why, why? These are blessings on blessings, bro. Look at God, hashtag. Yeah. So yeah, Randy, so whatever... Uh, you have birthed or you're about to birth. It's, it's yeah, praise hey. Jesus. That's all I'm going to say. My heart I did is it. joyful it's, right but now. That okay. thing, it, was the same, it was the same time when you posted those pictures of those puppies. And I was like, I want yeah. one. It was that night. Hey, now. Okay, it better not be puppies, okay? No, it was a real, uh, it was a real, it was a, it was a human being. No, yeah. in terms of me birthing something, this Oh, that wow. not be about the puppies. No, okay. no, 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 no. That'll be career-wise. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Come on man. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. 2018. It must Look be at God. blueprint sessions, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, we need to take it up a notch, yeah, man. It needs to go for high. Okay, anyway. Uh, uh. Okay, <laughs> but just let me know when you do dream about me. Like, don't, <laughs> don't be afraid to don't be afraid to let me know. Okay, just know that me, I'm very welcoming and... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Still, yeah. I'm very good. I can understand why you wouldn't want to let Randy know. Elsie no, know, look, I really, th- I thought yeah. I sent it to him because the next morning, I, I don't know if we were chatting or something, and I thought <laughs> I'd already sent him the message. Yeah. And then I only realized, no, I haven't. And I was like, oh, it's over now. Let me just move on. Ah. Okay. Wow. Now, with, with me, I even mean, if you feel like maybe it's been two years, probably, just, wow. let, just let Still? me know. You know just, why are you just in such a me. hurry? <laughs> what do you mean, man? Okay, calm down. God's still busy with me right now. Okay, <laughs> you need no, to wait. good. I'm happy for you, my homie. You know that I got you. I got you. You know I got you. Know you. I got you. Okay, we got uh, we got one another. I got yeah, you. Man. I wanted both of you. I got you. Homie. Good and good. Remember, we're eh? partners, man. I got, I got you. I got you. you know? I, I want to ask a question though, but we can do yeah. it at the end. Okay. Okay. So now I want to ask you this question. Now I know this might be a little bit controversial. Please uh-huh. just bear with me. All right. But obviously. Mm-hmm. Sir Ramaphosa. No, no, no. Just allow me to go into this, Elsie, please. Okay. And of course, um, you know, there's a heart for people. Um, 
and obviously there's, there's a lot of talk right now about expropriation of land without compensation. Mm. Um, and for those who might not understand basically what that means is um, land that was stolen from, you know, black South Africans or, you know, Whatever you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be taken back. Subject. It's gonna be taken back and basically could be given to the people or go to state. At this point, we don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to know where you know. What are your thoughts around around that whole segment? You know, I've got white friends. I think I know you do too. You know. Uh, do I? I'm kidding. We know she has got white friends. Like, what do you mean you know? Asked, do I? What do you mean you know? Bond to bougie, okay? <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. Um, I call him Clarendon, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, no, she went to a really bougie high school. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. Come so, on. Red card, both of you. <laughs> red card. <laughs> red card, LB. Stop it. Okay, so um, I'd like to know what, 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 are, what are your thoughts in regards to that? And please do understand that you are more than welcome not to answer or give a, a, a take if you, you know, don't want to. No, look, I do have a take. My thing is... Let us not go back to where we've come from as a country. Mm. So let us not repeat the mistakes that we made. Mm. So with this, it, can, it could cause more racial tension amongst us. Mm. Um, and look, this is, these are my, this is my opinion, this is my views. Mm. You, okay, so um, of which we don't want that anymore because we're trying to make this country a united country, mm. a rainbow nation, like that Nelson Mandela had envisioned. Okay, yeah. yes, we've got a lot of issues to work on, but what happened in the past is in the past. Mm. Yeah. Um, yes, we do not forget but let us not now um, go and, and, and open up old wounds yeah. that we need to heal within us. So, yes, land was taken, okay? Mm. But let us trust and believe that God has a plan and a purpose for all of that. So, God, ha he knows. He knew when it happened. Yeah. So, yeah, he knows what's going to happen. I, I'm, my thinking is that I, I, I don't want to cause this, con like, this division. I don't want us to create that whole division, you know. Mm. Unfortunately, it was opened, the mm. division. Um, yeah. But I'm not the person, I, I don't like fighting. I don't like yeah. violence. No, yeah, me, I me don't like, do, I. do you get what I'm saying? Me, me so for me, I. if I could, if we could keep the peace and can we not do something else um, of, 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 of not reinstating, um, compensating perhaps? So, so, so this is my, this is my thing now. Okay. Mm. Like I, I, I um, recently found something like land, land ownership in South Africa, right? Yes. So these are like the statistics and stuff. So, Firstly, I've got um, a problem with that, that. Why are we always looking racially? Why? Be because uh, these are just statistics. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These are just, these are just statistics, but, right? These, but are, these are just statistics. So, that's fine, but so why? You're not answering a question. No, the, the reason why we can't run away from looking at race is because, um, statistically speaking, land, percentages of land basically, you know, divided in statistics and race, unfortunately. It is. Unfortunately. So, unfortunately, that's, that's, that's how it is at the moment. But, okay, I'm just going to read this. Go okay. So, and then I'm going to ask a question at the end. Okay. Okay. So, it says uh, land ownership in South Africa, um, race, white, whites, population 4,493,500, Ownership seventy two percent. That's land ownership. Yes. Um, Indians one million four hundred nine thousand one hundred Asians included. Land ownership sixteen percent. Coloreds four million nine hundred sixty two thousand nine hundred. Uh, own land ownership five percent. Blacks forty five million six hundred fifty six thousand four hundred. 
and uh, land ownership 4%. And then I think my question is this. Um, if, if Bantu, you were... Now let's 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 take away the fact that you know you're black. Let's 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 move away from that for a little bit. You know what I mean? Let's just pretend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Because I don't know. Some people might get offended at me, like saying, uh, "I know." Let's maybe take away from the fact that you're black. But okay, um, let's pretend you were in the minority, which is in this case um, the whites, which is four million four hundred and ninety-three thousand five hundred. Okay, and obviously the percentage is 72% of land ownership. What would your suggestion be for the blacks that are sitting at a population of 45 million? This is not double. This is not triple. This is not quadruple that number, but it's, it's times, I think, by 10 even. Whatever. I'm not good at the math, okay? <laughs> so... This is 45 million, 656,400. White people are sitting at 4,493,500. Land ownership, 72%. 72%. Black, 4%. What would your suggestion be in bridging that gap and moving forward? Okay. So, that, so that's a very tough question. Um. <clears throat> My suggestion be on how we can bridge this. I'm trying to put this in my head. Yeah. Look, man. Look, I don't have a suggestion. Mm, and that's cool. Because I don't want to box how God is going to do it. Mm. I don't want to say let's do A, B, and C, and D, but God is going to be like, in fact, I'm wiping out this hole land yeah. type of situation. I'm not saying it will happen like that. Mm -hmm. But I, I my thing is can we just not try better each other in life? Like why am I my only focus is I want land. Can I not do other things? Can I not build Bandu up as a person career wise and I mean because the land is gonna stay here when I'm gone. Mm. When I'm and I think mm. I think we're looking at the wrong things to value. I think we're looking at, and let me take it a bit further, taking it into my life. I tell my friends a lot, like, so I have a car, right? But that car, it was a blessing, mm. literally. Um, I didn't, my parents were like, look at God. Um, and I tell my friends, look, um, I let anybody drive my car because it's just a car. Mm. Okay, if my parents are listening, I didn't say that. Um, I let anybody drive my car because yeah. I don't, I don't see value in the car as much as I value the person. Mm. I would rather invest in the person than invest in the car. For me, land. Mm. I would rather invest in the people than invest in the land. Do you, like, I mean, who's gonna know that I own this land? Oh, me, myself, and, and you. Does White that people. make sense? Mm. Because there are some people who are living on land, but yet they're renting. It's not mm. necessarily theirs. But, but doesn't that... Yeah, and but also, doesn't that... Okay, sorry, go for okay, it. Okay, doesn't that like kind of prove a point that um, you might be living on land, but it's not yours and you're renting land? Wouldn't you rather own the land? No. And rent it out to somebody else? No. No. Because, okay, what, what's your definition of investing in somebody? Investing in somebody is, let me take a young lady who's, who's growing up in the township. I would take her out of the township, uh, get her into a very good school to get an education and make sure that she will be able to stand for herself in life somewhere, in a career or whatever, in whatever purpose that God has called her to. Um, I would not really want to be waste, not wasting money. That's not a good word. Um, I would, I don't want to invest money in land. You'd, I mean, I can even sleep in my car. Land, guys, and it goes back to what I was saying. I get bored easily. I don't mm. want to be tied down. Yeah, so. But, but isn't land like a legacy thing? Though? Yep. Is it though? 
Because you're going to die, but where are your kids are going to live? Yeah. They're going to live in that house that they live w- lived in or a house that they find. What do you but mean? That's what if they're children? Yeah. All right, guys. That's land. We, okay, so... Li- okay, are so you not going to have a house one day, one day? I am going to have a house one day. Is that not property? Is that not a piece of land? But I feel like I can sell it to somebody else. You can. But you're going to sell it for something else. Another piece of land. Are you N- not? No, no. Well, yes. But so it's not the end well, of the world money. if I don't have land. I'm not going to be so depressed that the fact that there's somebody living on my land in Virgin Commons. Like, Banda, like, I'm with you. I, I totally understand your heart. The, it gets tricky when it comes to children because... Um, Every human being that has a family should be able to provide for the family even when they have gone. Now you, <laughs> God forbid, you pass away while your children are still here. Ah, I rebuke that one. No, I say God, God forbid. forbid. <laughs> <laughs> say God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> Make an illustration. <laughs> um, you pass away and then your children need a place to stay. They need something. So... My question is, won't that property, that whatever, be their foundation so they can have everything moving on forward? Mm. Because the most important thing is a home. But a home is not a building. Actually, it is. Uh Uh-uh. I don't... uh, Because it goes the same as saying the church is the building. Is the church the building? No. Okay, that's two different things. But... So... For, 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 for me, I, I think the angle LZ is coming from is, is the fact that you look at um, a lot of, for instance, the minority, which in this, in this instance would be um, the whites, how they stole land and entrusted it to their children and yes. how that legacy keeps on and how you have to look today at how uh, non-black South Africans compared, compared to black South Africans are not necessarily struggling when it comes to financially being stable, like being stable financially because of properties that they own and have and, and factories that they run on those properties that they've built, built on and farms that they, you know what I mean? All of these things, production and, and all of these things that, that is happening. Yes. But we also at fault. Because take oh, what you oh. exactly what you say. How we are at fault. Because we're not we're not bettering ourselves. Yeah. But but I'm saying we're not bettering Your ourselves. People's. Use what you have. That's what that's a lesson that God um taught me last year. So last year I lost my job. <laughs> 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 the other okay, so and I was like, Lord, I need finances. And he's like, use what you have. And I was like, what do I have? He's like, you've got a car. Mm. Make money with your car. And he's like, look. And I was like, but what are people going to say? He's like, that's the problem. You're mm. caring more what people are going to say, whereas there's a lesson that you need to learn, and that is using the little that you have. So, so us as black people, um, we are living on land in the townships, okay, and and but we've got this township mental this mentality that says I'm gonna I'm gonna live and die here. So all I'm gonna do is just stay in this box. Whereas I could be making money from this land that I ha- own, or you know, whether it be um, I don't know, you create something in your little house that you have, or what whatever. You know what I'm saying? But we have this thing that. I'm waiting for something to drop into my hands or I'm waiting for them to give me back my land. Use the land that you have already. Or the resources that you have already. If you understand what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. Cool. So you've speaking to the, spoken to black people. What would your message be to white people? Because, I mean, you can't just address one party and not address the other. <laughs> um, <laughs> teach us. That would be my, my lesson. I mean, message to them. Teach us. Because one thing that I love about my fellow friends or people that I went to school with, um, so they, they've got this thing called inheritance. Oh, no, my grandfather left me quite a lot of money. Yeah. But yet, 
they don't wait for that money to come into their bank account. They go out and study and they get their own careers. And then that money comes at the age of 25. Mm. But yet Umdu's got their own like career going and they've got their own properties. That inheritance that they got is just to maybe go invest into something else. So if we could shift our mindset and this having this, okay, I'm waiting for something to just drop or come or whatever and Government. do something. But, but I'm saying, teach us. Okay, cool. Teach us. Don't hold on to... I'm with that. To, to, the, to your knowledge by yourself. And, but, okay, I, I got to go back to the blacks because what? I'm with my people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm I was very, with you. Ah, uh, listen. I, I'm very... I notice things. I, I, I see things that people don't see. And that is why I think that's another thing that um, I love about people. I, I see the unseen. The, the unnoticed and all that. So when when I saw my friends here, Lomdune inheritance, but Yapangel, so what is that telling me? Mm. You work hard even though you've got. And that's what people always ask me. How do I do it? How do I have so many, uh, okay, jobs and projects and this and that and that? Because my thing is, yes, I might be set up. If, if that's the good enough word, or yeah. I'm living yeah. comfortably, but I'm still working so that I can leave that legacy for my kids, to, to them to see that you don't just wait and expect, you work. Mm. Okay. Step down. One more question, one more question, one more question. Cool. At 72% and 4%, <laughs> do you think there's any chance of that number tipping over to a 60, 40 maybe, like in, in the favor of black people? Well, I mean, w the rate politics are going probably. No, just, just outside of politics, let's say we use your method, which is teach us. Okay, first of all, oh, there are wait, other races. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> yes, black people. I'm talking now 72%, 4%. Using your method, do you see that, that, yeah, do you, do, would, would you see that 72% drop from a 72 to maybe a 50 and maybe black people to like a 40 something it could there are other races again hold on i get that i'm i'm just speaking right now about white people because it's sitting at 72 percent my, my my focus is if indians were sitting at 72 percent i'd be focusing on 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 that i'm because i'm not focusing on necessarily no, 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 the no, no. race you you focusing on the blacks the whites no. obviously my man listen to what i'm saying I'm not necessarily focusing on the race. I'm focusing on the percentage. Nah? Mm. So my thing is, what I'm asking is, would you see that, that change, that 72% change from being 72 to 50 when we say teach us? Yes. Because then we would... Do you think they would, they would allow that? Who? White people? Oh, Whoever is sitting at 72%. Or they're 72. <laughs> 72. Why? Yeah, well... <laughs> Now, now, I don't want to say this new democracy that we're in. Yeah, I, I, I don't know because you cannot get into people's head, mm. so we don't know. But, but they should. Oh, do you think perhaps they're like to manage, but not own? I can see. I have a concern with this whole situation. So Ramaphosa says he's gonna what? Fix that situation. Try to bridge that gap. My only concern is he doesn't do it forcefully. Yes. Because that's no, no, no. gonna cause a riot. Listen, yeah. And that, that's, that's what I'm trying to run away from. That's definitely, but I think definitely he, my concern also. But I feel like he's playing it safe. He is. He is he, better. If, if on the other side, I was saying, he, saying, listen, we are coming and you uh, you get what I'm saying? But even yeah. the EFF um, lately have taken a, 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 a more Such calmer, a, a calmer role in, 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 in the sense that they're saying, we're not seeking revenge. We're not seeking for you guys to suffer. We just want the playing field to be equal. Yes, but then mob justice comes in. When, you, when you're when in a mob, yeah. you become unruly. You become... Un they have to be careful yeah, of their language. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's, that, that's when the leadership needs to take... take, take yeah, and the leadership... Mm, but you we're need not to understand right the people at home are not speaking the same language as you. Yeah, but 
that's what I'm saying. The leadership is going to be very crucial. And this is why I think it's important for, you know, the EFF leadership to come out and say, look, guys, we're not wanting any guns. We're not wanting any violence. We're just wanting literally to make sure, which is yeah. what the EFF said, the, the leader of the EFF said. So, you know, lately. So it's not like how it was in 2000, I don't know when. We were just like, yo, just take. Hey, man. You know what I mean? Which for me, that's not what I want at all. Yeah. Because I've got white friends. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, who are amazing people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who are great people. But I cannot ignore such statistics. For me, I just can't do that. And if that approach would work, I would definitely love to take that approach. I, I, I don't, for me, it's not, it's not necessarily about race. race. Yeah. You understand? It's not necessarily about race. Just it's, equality. It's, 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 it's about equality. You know mm. what I mean? And the quality of life. Mm. And because for me, I'm thinking 24 years into democracy and we've still got people living in shacks. That's unacceptable for me, dude. Like, I've never lived in a shack in my life, ever. Yeah. I've never experienced shack, shack, shack life ever in my mm. life. Never and I'm fortunate that. to say that. But I'm not mm. ignorant of the fact that there are people, there who, are are people who, are who are experiencing there. it every mm. single mm. day of their lives. Mm. Conditions that I've never been in. Yeah. And for me, I'm thinking to myself, guys, something has to be done. Yeah. Like, level the playing field somehow. There can't be billionaires and there's people who... I like, can't even afford bread. Mm. Like, but, but then I want to go back to what I was saying. Let us not ex wait. Let us not expect. We need to. I'm not knocking anyone down. Yeah. Mm. Because if you look at the st st ooh, English um, to the stats, yeah. mm. I, I'm looking at Cape Town, for instance. If, if you've ever like um, driven into Cape Town or flown into... In fact, any city, the first thing you see is... The, the 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 informal settlement and but like Cape Town is like so real, mm. it's crazy. Um, but I'm thinking that there are so many people who have gone from. I'm getting myself out of the situation that I was born in. For instance, some of them, yeah. and I'm gonna work my way into. I was reading a story today that one of one of these guys was living in a shack and he bought his first property. In like Santon or something like that. Just you get, so it's possible. Yes. It's. I don't dispute that at all. <laughs> not I, for I, everyone. I, I don't dispute that it's possible. Mm. I do not. I'm just saying that the mentality that unfortunately the previous government passed on to this generation and the generations or whatever that before us or whatever and the 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 conditions that the government um, enforced on you know, black South Africans put them in a state and in a mentality that a lot of them, not like, otherwise, no, no, you let me I know what other explanation there is because why would there be two separate qualities of education? Why yeah. would there be white, uh, no, no, you know what I mean? Education and why would there be Bantu education? I'm sorry that no, your no, name no, has to it. come. No but what, you know, why, why, why would that, why would those two dynamics exist if and 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 also an, an, another another issue that I have is um, the conversation about land isn't being brought up by the people with the most percentage of land. Yeah, that's that that's another concerning factor for me. That the fact that are, are you actually wanting to teach? Because are, are, are you actually wanting to see progress? No, they don't. Are you actually wanting, like, are you seeing these conditions? And if you are, what steps are you taking in actually, in, in making a difference, in changing these? So I, I know that not every white South African hasn't done anything. Mm. But I know that it's definitely not, not even 40% that are, that, that, that have done something. Can I ask you a question still? Have you ever had a... Uh, a conversation about racism with white people? No, I've never, actually. Yeah, I can tell. I have, man. I've, I've never, actually. The issue with with majority of white people, it's not that they're racist, they're just ignorant to racism. Because um, I had a conversation, I don't want to mention names, with some white people, and I know that they're not racist. Mm. But the way they were so ignorant to the 
to the fact that this is racism mm. because uh, they think that when black people talk about racism, it's more of like an a scapegoat mm. for, oh, this is happening because I'm black type of situation. Mm. Some people do, but we can't be ignorant of the fact that racism does exist in terms of there's no equality. Now, um, to prove that white people have no interest in, in teaching, they've, they've had, I'm not saying all white people, because mm. there are some white people who are doing amazing things out there. Of course. Okay. Um, but majority have this this situation but they'll look at a person living in a shack and they won't want, they won't even try to understand that sure. person living there to them that person put themselves there they don't think circumstances can i can i tell you i have had a conversation with a friend uh. in regards to situations like that and you know what their thing was their thing was no you need to work see and I can understand that, but to a certain degree, we can't take away certain factors. Yes. We can't True. take away cer certain circumstances that might prevent an indiv in individual from even getting to a point of work. Yeah, they can't the be your garden boys forever. The fact that they've been started at such a disadvantage, and I know so many people have heard those rags to, rags to riches stories, I promise you, like I've, I've heard s some of them, but not a lot of people have the willpower to get to that place. Yeah. So it starts at, 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 at will. Not a lot of people are motivated. You go to Ekasi. I grew up in the Kasi. Go to Ekasi. You go, you, you, you go to Ekasi. <laughs> you go to Ekasi. Not a lot of people are motivated enough to even get out of the hood. They're not thinking that big. They're that's not what thinking I was that talking far. about, that mentality that we who... Yeah, we need to go then and, and start educate. them. But who's we? We need to educate Me, them. Me, you, Randy. No, I didn't put them there. Doesn't matter. So you're going to allow them to... Obviously, I'm being you provocative. See? I'm being provocative when I say that. <laughs> I, I get that. it. When but I then you that. cannot allow your brother or sister to die there. But, 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 but... We educate what, what, what I'm actually trying to get to is... What happens when you, me, LZ, say... No, like pe pe uh, people of our skin... Saying no, we didn't put them there. The old government put them there, mm. right? Mm. What happens when we say no? We're not going to help. Is the majority of the land ownership um, okay? English ran gone, but <laughs> <laughs> but, but are, are, are the people who are sitting at the top of the food chain? Actually, going to say okay, cool? They're not going to help. We're going to go in. No, but that, that's where we have to then. Be like, Excel, get off your high horse and be with it. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's <laughs> but unfortunately. That, 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 that's just, yeah, anyway, but. It's the unfortunate part. That's very unfortunate for there, me. There's actually something that yeah. um, I watched on Sunday. Just to clarify it as anyway, but the storyline was freaking beautiful, okay? Mm. I was amazed. Uh, in the in this anime, there was a prince. You know, uh, this guy is like wealthy, 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 like any royalty. Um, and there was this princess that he was in love with, Aww. but um, she was a little up class, mm. like bougie type of vibe. But he he was a humble like prince. You know, him. he was humble royalty, and <laughs> so. Um, she was driving in a carriage uh, and she noticed him like telling a story to these little kids. And so she stopped the carriage and she was like watching him because she thought that he was doing that to impress her. So uh, then at the end of telling these kids a story, he like pays them, all of them. Like uh, so that these are children like poor, 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 poor mm -hmm. kids, like shack type of children. And he gives them all money. The kids are excited. <laughs> so the princess walks up to him and she's like, oh, what, you're trying to buy the kids uh, to to come listen to your stories? 
And his answer was, at first, that is what I did to lure them in. But that is not why they come now. Mm, They actually enjoy being educated now. Because at first, they didn't want to listen to me because of who I was. Mm. Like, ah, you have an old type Mm. of situation, Mm. you know. But at the end of the day, he still helps them. Because those kids still have to go home Mm. to no food Mm. at home. But he's giving them something. Mm. So at least they have that motivation. Mm. You know what? That guy is actually saying something to Mm. me. Mm. And he said... I was paying them so that they could actually sure. come and listen to me. But now that's not why I pay them. Now I pay them just so they can have something, regardless of... How many, how many people would be willing to do that? I'm speaking from, from, from the minority. Amen. Who no. have, from the minority, you have the majority. Unfortunately, not many do that. Some do. In this country. I'm speaking in this country. Yeah, I'm speaking in this country. You know what? I have a cousin, right? You know what he does? He goes, he go, he, he meets random people, like he when he so wins and stuff like that, right? So he speaks to people about Jesus. And he, like, interacts with them, like, on a deep level. So he'll speak to them about Jesus. He'll he'll tell the people about Jesus. But then he'll want to find out about them. Well, hey, how, how, how are your conditions? Like, what's up? What's up with you? Do you have a job? What, what? person will be like, no, nah, I don't have a job. Okay, are you interested in getting a job? Are you educated? What's going on? And he'll try to walk a journey with that individual. Not just giving them Jesus from a spiritual mm. sp- aspect only, yeah. but also from a practical yeah. perspective and aspect where he walks a journey with this individual, discipling this this individual, finding a job for them and actually like taking them through the whole investing in them basically. Investing in them exactly. the yeah. whole way through to such a point where this individual is built up. Mm. And um yeah, I, I all I'm saying is I would just like to see change. <laughs> I'm not happy. Honestly, you know, Dr. Miles Monroe said if something, if, it, it, like, how do you know if this is something that you need to pursue and do if it makes you mad? And this is one of those things that makes me mad. Like, so then are we going to be would. seeing you out there, Amanda? <laughs> let, let, let me be honest with you. I have we been contemplating not it so much. I'm just being honest right now. I've been contemplating politics so much. I've been thinking about it in my mind. I'm thinking to myself, I want to see something happen. We better not see you in a red jumpsuit, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. My, okay. One piece. One piece of advice: yes. Don't allow. If you're gonna do it. Yes. Firstly, two two pieces of mm. advice. If, okay. Firstly, if God says go for it, go for it. Two, don't allow to be brainwashed. Mm. Um, I was about to. Actually, I, I, was, I was about to go into that in a sense of I've noticed that a lot of people who. Um, were believers, you know, believe yeah. in the word, like staunch Christians. Yeah. Went into politics and all of a sudden now they just, <laughs> just like it. Yep. Yeah. Opposition yeah. leader, but we're not there. Yeah. Now, another thing, but the church is also not doing anything. That's another problem. Let's not just look at the world. Church also mm. needs to step up. Because I feel story. like from, from a, from a church, church perspective, I, I'm, I'm not happy. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Yo, bro. I'm really not. Like and and when I say that I'm I'm speaking about myself too. Yeah. Because I'm part of the church. Yeah. Exactly. I'm speaking about myself too. So. Which is something I, that I happy. wanted to talk to you about actually. Yeah. Um. Which is why I was saying you need to start the foundation because I want to serve yeah. in that foundation. Okay. Aww. Uh. I I really want to be part of something that helps people. Mm-hmm. But honestly, I don't know anything. Uh. But. I have a church. Mm-hmm. You know. Which, you have a church. Yes. Oh, not, would, not, not you, that it's my own, but I a church like that I did. Like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that would be the um, day. <laughs> first of all, first of all, <laughs> uh, I would have a very small congregation <laughs> if I would have a church. Um, but wow. the church that I chose, that <laughs> that I made my home, okay, um, is because there's one thing that amazed me about them. It's like a seriously white church, okay. Like everybody's there white <laughs> type of situation. <laughs> and uh now I went there by default because I wasn't saved when I went there. Mm. So um I was attracted to this white girl and I went Yo. there for her, you know. Can you imagine? And 
that's where I actually got saved, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in pursuing this white girl. And, um, <laughs> very funny story, but it's not the you point. You go to right a white now. church? Dude. How did I not know? In Braylon? White church? No. But across Braylon. Like How did I not know this about you? Where? Where? I'm a little above this church. Now, oh. there's this one thing that amazes me about them. So they have the. No wonder you're such a cheese. <laughs> huh? oh, wow, he's gonna say I'm a cheese. Okay, no, Cat. it makes sense now. The 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 kettle calling. <laughs> no, it's what? It's all coming back the to me The pot calling the kettle now. black. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> so um, they no, they dude, have. No, you can't this. do that. You can't throw punchline around throwing a punchline. Okay, fine, go. You know, I was trying to say something Ish, positive, this guy. and this guy just killed my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, they, they have this foundation type of situation where they take kids out of, um, basically they raise less privileged kids. Yeah. You know, fortunately, the kids that are there are black, okay. <laughs> um, so they raise them take them to school, feed them, give them clothes, like basically everything that a parent's supposed to do. Mm. And uh, then after you find a job, yeah, then you're on your own type of situation. But um, the thing that amazed me about that church, why I stayed with them, mm. is for that reason. Because I've been to many churches, man. Mm. Like everybody used to invite me to church. <laughs> Like, people are like, oh, you need to come to my church. Yeah. Uh, because you know how Christians do. Mm. Like, oh, are you saved? No, you need to come to my church. Oh, are you saved? You saved? Okay, which church do you go to? That type of situation. Mm. So people used to always invite me to church. Like, I've seen a lot of churches, and I've seen all vibes. But the reason why I chose that one as my home is because, man, like, it's not a fancy church. Mm. And the cool thing is the money that they have, mm. they put it in a pamphlet, which you get every Sunday when you go there. And uh, the budget is there. And in that budget, they tell you everything that they do with that money. Mm. That offering that you give, your tithings, whatever, they tell you from that last Sunday we made, okay, this amount of money, and this is what we're going to do with it. Okay. I don't think they have all these um, houses with all these kids who, are, who come from broken homes or whatever, and they're raising them. That is not, one child is not cheap. No, no, okay. no, of course, of course. For them to raise so many kids, bro. Of course. You, you know, these are people with their own families. Yeah. You know, I came across a statement on Twitter like the other day. It said, uh, um... Oh, was it Facebook? I can't remember. But it was a statement like of this nature. It said, um, "Church needs to do uh, what's this um, renovations or whatever yeah. um, for two million. No, we're very they, good with those. They'll, 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 they'll stand and, and and like fundraise and raise funds, and then someone comes with a need uh, worth like two million, and they'll get say come up for prayer. Mm. And I was like, snap." It, it, that hit me deep. I was like, "Oh my gosh," I'm like, "I'm like how priorities, man." Uh, ah, man, I don't know. Like, I know we can't, you can't raise two million, you know, rands for a congregation of thirty thousand people, but. These are for people. Raising money for people who are saved and pre pretty much have their lives going on for them, but can't raise money to feed and clothe and even educate children. Yeah, it's sad, man. Look, we still got a long way, and and we're, we're by no means perfect. Hard for people. We're Foundations going to happen. We're by no means perfect. Okay, and prophesy. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> We're progressing as, we, as soon as we get this land when we're building 
Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I, I'm not co-signing. <laughs> I'm not co-signing that one. Just had to sneak that in there, man. Just had to sneak that in there. You know, I'm not building churches, that we're, building, we're building houses for these kids, man. We're building... First of all, we got way too many churches, okay? Okay, fine. We'll build we, we, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, we'll do with that. We'll do something with There are too many churches, but yeah, nothing's man. happening. Let's yeah, stop I mean, building more churches. Okay, like, cool. Okay, mm-hmm. Cool, we'll build, we'll build orphanages, we'll do something with this, yeah, man. This piece of land that, that we're gonna be getting, you know. This needs to happen. Hopefully, sure. hopefully, hard and hard for people's gonna get a piece of land, also. That she, you know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now she's so she's putting her hands down. No, guys, the only reason why I'm receiving this land is so we can give it to someone else to better the, somebody else. Hey, this is for a heart for people foundation. We'll see, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm for real, guys. Like, yo, I'm so touched by what you're saying, actually. Yeah. No, nah, man. Like, guys, like, I really believe that we should do. I've always dreamed of doing that. Hard for people. Like Hard for seven, people, man. Okay. Let's all pray about it, actually. We'll pray Let's about all it. Pray about it. Yeah. It'll Trust God. I'm with it. It'll happen. Like, man. honestly, so I've always wanted to be part of a, mm. of a, a faith foundation. Mm. You know? But we gotta wrap it up, man. It's been an hour I thirty said I've, minutes. I've got a question. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. My yeah. question is. Yes, for sure. How did you two meet? How did you become friends? It's actually funny because it started from a fart. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no, no. Over, a, because over, 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 over a girl. You. That's not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yes. Hey, if you're gonna tell the story, tell it right. <laughs> That's not how we met. We already met. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're already we're ready. We're already we met. We're already yeah, met. True, true, so how do you true. become friends? Uh, it started over a fight over a girl. Jesus. So like that's I, not how we became so, friends. So, I don't know no, why no, no, he always throws hold that hold in. Hold there. Let me tell my story. Okay, you tell your side of the story. I'm my side of the story. So basically, what had happened was, you know, L- LZ is a rapper, performer, and whatnot. He likes to flex when he's on the stage. And <laughs> So, so what had happened was I, 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 I had a, a, a girlfriend, you know, back then that I thought, man, she's like my everything. I'm going to marry her or whatever. You know what I mean? I, I just recently been born again. I think I was like, how many years? Because well, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, three years saved. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I never had a girlfriend after I got saved. She was my one. And I thought to myself, when I get, I'm marrying that one. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That's just what it is. And then what happens is LZ is performing at this. Uh, what was it? Was it what was happening that day? What was that? Uh, was it a? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, like a competition or yeah, something, yeah, man. Like what that thing was. It's weird. Anyway, so he's performing at that thing, and so my girlfriend decided, okay, she's gonna go. You know, we, we, <laughs> oh, we, we were actually we were all there supporting you, LZ. He's our homeboy. We know him. You know what I mean? We know LZ. We're supporting him there. Mm. And then he decides, and he's gonna step off the stage and he's gonna put his arm around, you know, my girl and stuff like that. But while, while he's, he's rapping, performing. yeah, while he's rapping. So why do you catch feelings you though? Where you, what, you, oh. you, you, why do you catch you feelings? See what, you, oh. see, you see, watching this, you know, <laughs> watching them with Jay Z, blah blah blah, because he did that. Now he did that. Okay, not, first of all, and, not do. And then, and then, no, you put your arm, you put your arm around, uh, around. No, I put my hand around. I didn't put no. my arm around. LZ. No. It was your arm, no, dude. I didn't put my arm around. Doesn't matter. Anyway, it's anyway, it was past. contact. There was contact. So I, I looked and I was like, okay, that's awkward. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. I'm still, you know, supporting him, clapping. I'm like, okay, this is super awkward. Awkward. And then his performance is done, and then we go back to our seats, and I'm sitting now, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, that was awkward. And she's, like, sitting next to me. She's like, yo, I can't believe he did that. Like, she's mad. Like, I wasn't even really mad. I was just still like, okay, how do I process? I don't know how to process this. You know I mean, what do I do with this information? You know what I mean? What do I do with what I've just seen? And so because she was so mad, I, I was like, yeah, now I'm getting mad. Now. <laughs> I'm like, okay, now I'm mad now. Now I'm mad. <laughs> And at the end of the whole thing... I feel I like she was touched. I feel like <laughs> she loved all the attention. And then at the end of the whole thing, like, and bear in mind, this is a church event. It's in a, it's in, it's in a church, you know, I'm a church building. At the end of the whole thing, I go up to Elsie, I confront him. We almost end up fighting. Yeah. Yep. Hey. 
Yeah, this is a Bible student. He's he was a sound engineer working. I mean, I was mean, serving for you know, you know, I was a Bible student. We almost end up fighting. I mean, but so. where were the other people to stop? No, all they were around. They were they there. Were they were there to stop it. Yeah, they were there to stop the situation. That's why we didn't fight. Yeah. So evidently, I I end up apologizing. I'm like, yo, man. Sorry, I messed up. That was just super childish. <laughs> that was just super childish, what, that, what not. And um, obviously the relationship with the girl didn't last and stuff like that. And, and I think So I saved him. <laughs> yeah, he, he did, actually, <laughs> indirectly. God. So, and, 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 and I realized from that day, I said, never again will I fight over a woman, ever, in sure. my life. Ever. Unless she's your wife. Yeah, unless she's my wife. That, that's exactly, those were precisely my words, actually. I said, never again, ever. Mm. Ever, and even with my wife, right? Mm. If she decide, if she's deciding, no, I I, I want to go this direction. Mm. I was about to say, even if she is your wife, you don't go fight because I'm like, mm. nah. I'm like, mm. you know what I mean? So, um, evidently, and then and then we just yeah, we just started speaking more and more and converse about stuff, mm. music mostly, mm. yeah. Sound sometimes because I was doing like the sound course Nyana with them as well. You know they were teaching me some stuff about sound Nyana. Thanks, LZ. Shout out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, gotta like, throw that plug yeah, in. Yeah, I got, I got, I got to man. But then, but mostly like it was just like our interest in media. Mostly our interest in media, mm. our passion for media, our passion for music, our passion mm. like. You need to understand, like, LZ and myself are, like, two different people initially. But really? they do the same. You know what I mean? But, mm. yeah, like, there's that, there's that, that one thing. the same that coin. We, we, yeah, there's that one thing that connects us, you know which I is Sorry just that passion. Yeah, this, for sure. I, I, I promise you, I promise you, I yeah. see twins. Are you serious? I, right because, because I've grown up with twins. Oh, yeah, yeah. You yeah, guys are, like, yeah. like these. Gemini twins. And... Uh, yeah. And Why this not, is beautiful. Not? And oh, look thanks, at how man. the enemy tried to steal. Man, that's the same thing I was telling him the other day. I'm like, man, you know, this is crazy. How, <laughs> how Satan tried to mess this thing up, man. Like, there would be no <laughs> blueprint sessions if, you know what I mean, if we had stayed in that point. Mm. Like, in that whole... And all the other things that are going to come sucks. from this partnership. Come on, come yeah, on, come on. So, come on, come yeah, on. Come on, come on. I'm proud of y'all. No, thank you. Thank and you, and thank you, thank you. happy that... It turned out for good. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. LZ, don't mess it up this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to throw it out there. Just going to throw it out there. Just nah, I learned my lesson. Okay, nah, you've I already had lesson. Bantu prophesy and yeah. tell you that, you know, you mean, she dreams on you and stuff. Yeah. Don't mess it up. Okay, I don't know why we had to go <laughs> there. I just had to. <laughs> Got to. Got to. Uh, thank it's you, been thank absolutely you, amazing, you. man. I, I think I've enjoyed um, this session. Next time Bandu comes, it should be a host of that. Yeah, Bandu, actually, yeah, I th- yeah, I'd love to have you. I'm not going to be a host. I'd love to have you on the yeah. I've graduated. I've graduated level. Yeah, I would like level. That would be super dope. Yeah. Though, for real. Honey. That would yeah, be super dope. gives good conversation. Because imagine, imagine when we go, um, um, when we visual. take off visual, yeah. Sure. Like co- consistently, I'm when in. We, when we take a visual consistently, I'm in. And we start to have like these cool, dope yeah. things happening. Like for instance, like we go out, like these interviews. Yeah. We go I'm to in. red carpets. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm so interview in. artists mm. and stuff like that. I'm Actors in. go to the Oscars, Grammy sometimes yo, to yo, interview yo, people. Guys. Blueprint sessions live. Live. Yeah. You understand what I mean? We 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 go on television networks, blueprint sessions on television networks. Yeah. 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 Podcasts yeah. are the future. Mm. Um. Like, yes, it, Lord, imagine, I'm like, do ciphers, do all these things, ciphers, yeah. platforms, like, for artists yeah. to just maybe do a song or two. Let's not throw too much information I was going to say, actually, be actually, you know what, yeah. Careful. You know what, just edit this out. Just edit this out. Just, just, just edit, yeah, edit some <laughs> stuff out and, you, and, you, and then leave this part where I say, edit this out. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm is. in. I support the vision. Mm. Nah, 100%. No, um, And I think, yes, I mean, I wouldn't have come second time look at god yeah. if i didn't believe in you guys <laughs> true, that's yeah. true. i, I yeah. honestly believe that's true that, that is you're going my places dear. guys thank you my sister thank yeah you. i love god to use you we, we appreciate cool. that thank man. you i'll send that's you my something. invoice later <laughs> <laughs> definitely you know what i like that because no. that means no. that we'll have the to meet the you get no. it you yeah. get what i'm saying we'll step up you get what i'm saying though yeah. like she said she's gonna send us an invoice later 
Yeah, and I said that's cooler because that means that we'll have the yeah, yeah to, by the means to, yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. to provide. Yeah. God never disappoints, man. Yeah, straight up. My also, sister, stuff. It's, yeah, are you wrapping it up or what you doing? You continue conversation. I was gonna wrap it up, but you were saying something. no. I was wrapping it up also. Oh, I see that. Okay, no, you wrap it up. Uh, my sister, it's been awesome. Uh, a real blessing. Um, I come to up family company. zoned. Can you imagine? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never expected it. Okay. Oh my word. You went from friend <laughs> to family oh. and you offended? Yeah, I've got a, like one of my friends. I always tell he always says, What is he called? He calls me. He's like, You're one of the boys. I'm like, You can't do that. Who? You can't. How's he? No, no, no. One of my friends from oh. church. He'd be like, You're one of the boys. I'm like, uh uh-uh, I'm not though. Like, yeah, no, best no. belief. Yeah, but it's I now I feel you. I feel yeah, that's cool. No, that's much dope. respect. Man. It is what it is. Um, you want to let them know your handles? Yeah. Okay. So Instagram, a heart for people. Yeah, boy. One word. One word. Okay. Um, Facebook, Bantu, Sandisiwe Pungani. Um, Twitter. I'm I'm scared of black Twitter. So ish. I'm still on a pause. Really? <laughs> you. Are people you people are brutal. I used to be. Okay, I'm on Twitter now. But you don't have to be on Black Twitter if you're on Twitter. You don't have to be. That's Those yeah, are people who but, like uh, things. I, I'm on Twitter and I've just, I, I, like, I'm trying to enter that space of Black Twitter. Oh, like, I'm trying okay. to get into that space. Like, I'm trying to. He's trying like, to be. I'm nav- I'm he's trying to be Black, black Twitter. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> yeah, yes. Trying to be Black yeah, Twitter. <laughs> yes, yes. And I'll tell you why. This is why. Because, because of Black Panther. Because, no, 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 no. Because if you're. P- because. What kind? Because this thing, <laughs> because this is the thing. If if you family, right? If you family with people, chances are of it when 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 it's your turn to be like really like ridiculed, you know, they'll probably protect you. Not of black Twitter. Like, no, yeah, no, definitely no. not black Twitter. No, but like, it won't be as brutal as if you weren't part of black Twitter. Mm. You know what I mean? At least they'll know you. They'll be like, and you'll be able to like shrug it off a little bit better because you already know them and they know you. Type of nah, thing. Be, you know what I mean? Not yeah. black Twitter. That'll destroy you. No, Twitter. look, I've <laughs> noticed there. It's a community there. I've because I'm like negating. Like literally, I follow almost everyone who's a part of black Twitter. So now I've like my following is. Up up until I think I've I've got like six hundred and uh, yeah. fifty followers or what? something like that. Yeah, I've got like six hundred. Yeah, you gotta throw some plus. In there. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got like six hundred fifty followers or something like that, and I'm following I think about four hundred and something people. A lot of the majority of them, I put those people amongst the Black Twitter community because I just want to be in those spaces. I just want to. So you got more followers than the people you are following, which is good. Yeah. Man, you you clearly birthing something. My homie, I've been on this. I'm joining Black Twitter. You probably do what Sivu does. So Sivu uses all these hashtags. I'm just like, but my friend, she will hashtag Will Smith on a picture nah. of herself. And I'm like, nah, what's I mean, going nah, on? I, I, I don't do that. <laughs> nah, I don't do that. You know Those what I do? Extra hashtags. No, I, you know what I do? Nah? You know what I do? Because they have these follow, follow, follow train weekends or something like that. So they say, follow everyone who retweets this. So instead of me retweeting this follow back, follow back thing, I just go and see who has retweeted it. And I follow everyone who has retweeted it. And they obviously do the right thing and they follow back. Mm, and then you unfollow them. And I unfollow. No, no, no I, I don't unfollow them. Follow anyone who didn't follow. So I unfollow everyone who didn't follow me. Oh, that's what I also do on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm a celebrity these days, man. I don't <laughs> follow. Uh, guys, like, people follow me. I Ooh. don't follow people. I think it's that picture, your album picture. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. Ah, it's probably, it's probably, wow. See? It's probably wow. Thanks, wow. family. It was great. It's been awesome. Wow. Thank you so much, Wendy. LZ, are you gonna drop your Twitter handles? Or oh, I'm not Twitter handles, social media handles. Um, I'm LZ Braylon's finest on Facebook. Um, LZ Braylon's finest on Instagram. Braylon's, LZ Braylon's finest on Twitter. Yeah, that's and Blueprint CEO. On, on Instagram too. I have two Instagrams. Why would okay no? That's gonna open another conversation. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, it is. he's got a lot of accounts. I don't understand. It's so creepy. Like okay, don't talk too much. Okay. Yeah, handles. Still, still Lamini Instagram. Still underscore Lamini Instagram. Still, underscore. Yeah, still underscore Lamini Twitter. May do the right thing, brother Wakanda on Twitter also. Um, <coughs> so 
No, no, no. It's it's still one account. It's still <laughs> underscore Lamini, but then it's just also Brother Wakanda. Um, and then on Facebook, it's fellow Steel Lamini uh, Wakanda forever. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on this. I'm going to say this was a great episode. Black Panther did, a, uh, did amazing numbers, by the way. It was amazing. Thank Black you, Panther. Bantu. Thanks, peace.